Hello everyone, welcome to Data Engineering Studies. In this video, we are going to see an interesting Azure use case. The use case is copy data present in on-prem SQL Server table to CSV file present in Azure Blob Storage using Azure Data Factory Pipeline. We have the table present in on-prem SQL Server database. We are going to load the data to a CSV file in Azure Blob Storage. We are going to see the step-by-step -step implementation. Some of the prerequisites of this use case are, you need to have an SQL Server in on-prem system, an Azure subscription, and Azure Data Factory service to create the pipeline. I have my SQL Server, which is up and running in Windows operating system, and here is my Azure Data Factory for creating the pipeline. The first step is to install self-hosted integration runtime in on-prem system. And the next step is to create a self-hosted integration runtime in Azure. I have explained in detail on how to download the self-hosted integration runtime in on-prem and establish connection between on-prem and Azure in my previous video. So, I am skipping these two steps in this video. I will give the link for the video in the description. Here is the self-hosted integration runtime software that is installed in the on-prem system, which is connected to self-hosted integration runtime in Azure. The objective of this video is to create a pipeline to store data from SQL Server table, which is present in on-prem to a container in CSV format in Azure Blob Storage. I have named my container as target. The next step is to create table in SQL Server. Here is my SQL Server which is in on-prem. I am using SQL Server authentication to log in to the SQL Server. Let me log in to the SQL Server. Inside my SQL Server, I am going to log into the tutorials database and create few tables. Let me paste the DDL. I am going to create two new tables, employees and job position. Let me create the employees table. My employee table is created. Now let me create the job positions table. Here is my job positions table and let me insert three new records. The table is successfully created. Now let me query the tables. We have the employees table with five records and job positions table with three records. If you are using the SQL Server authentication, make sure to check this option before you proceed. Let me select the server and go to properties and select security and make sure you select SQL Server and Windows authentication mode. I have already checked this option, so let me cancel. Now our tables are created in SQL Server in on-prem. The next step is to create linked service for the source SQL Server database. In the Azure Data Factory, let me click Managed and create a new linked service. Let me click New. My data store is SQL Server. Let me select SQL Server and click Continue. Let me provide a name to my linked service ls source demo and select my self-hosted integration runtime and provide my server name. We can get the server name from SQL Server. Let me click properties and get the server name. Let me mention my server name. My database is tutorials. 
here is my database let me mention my database name and select windows authentication and provide my username and password and my password let me test my connection the connection is successful let me create my linked service the linked service is successfully created the next step is to create linked service for the target container in order to create the target linked service let me click new my source data store is azure blob storage let me click azure blob storage and click continue let me give a name to my linked service ls target demo my target container is inside azure so i have selected auto result integration runtime and select my azure subscription and select my storage account name and test my connection the connection is successful let me create my target linked service is successfully created the next step is to create the source and the target data sets in order to create the data set let me click author and select data set and create a new data set my source data store is sql server let me click sql server and click continue and provide a name to my data set source demo and select my linked service that i created in my previous step and mention the table name my schema is dbo and my table is employees let me click okay my source data set is successfully created now let me parameterize the table name for that i am going to select parameters and create a new parameter and mention table name and let me go to connection instead of mentioning the table i am going to parameterize the table name let me click okay now my source data set is parameterized now let me create my target data set let me click new my target data store is azure blob storage blob let me click continue i am going to save the files in csv format let me click csv and click continue now let me provide a name to my target data set ds target demo now let me select the linked service target demo and select the target container target container and click okay my target data set is successfully created my last step is to create the pipeline in order to create the pipeline let me click pipelines and create a new pipeline let me provide a name to my pipeline pl sql server and import the copy data activity in the pipeline wizard let me create a new parameter i am going to provide the name as table name table name now let me go to copy data activity setting and select the source and the target data sets let me do that 
inside the source data set, I am going to select the source data set and the table name is coming from pipeline parameter. Let me click OK and select the sync data set. The pipeline is successfully created. Let me validate. The pipeline is validated successfully. Let me run my pipeline and provide the table name as employees. and click OK. The pipeline is running. Let me refresh. The pipeline ran successfully. Now let me go to the target container and click refresh. The file is successfully copied. Let me click the file and see the data. The data is also successfully copied. We see that the file is in .txt format. Let me change that. Let me go to the Azure data factory. In the sync settings, by default, it is mentioned as .txt. Let me change it to .csv. Now, let me rerun the pipeline. Let me provide the table name as employees and click OK. The pipeline is running. The pipeline ran successfully. Now, let me go to the container and click refresh. The file is successfully copied in CSV format. Now let me preview. The data from employees table is successfully copied in Azure Blob Storage container. I hope you like this video and I am sure that you learned something new today. If you do like this video, please consider to subscribe and I will see you in another interesting use case. Thank you.